In this section, I'll be talking about how cloud network management drives effortless distributed networking. Now I've broken out this section into six main tenets of benefits related to cloud management in particular. Luckily, all of those benefits start with the letter S, so hopefully they'll be easy to remember and articulate to people that you're talking to about cloud management. We'll start with simplicity. From provisioning to support, cloud-based management typically makes all of your network operations a lot more effortless than before. And what I mean is you can ship out a piece of hardware, whether that be an access point, router, or switch, and you can pre-configure that in the cloud, set up the SSID, the authentication mechanism, any user profiles that you might want to apply. When that piece of hardware gets to the distributed site, someone can simply plug it in to that blue ethernet cable and it's gonna automatically pull down its configuration, be up and ready to go in a matter of minutes. You don't need to have necessarily an IT administrator at each site in order to get your infrastructure up and ready to support users. So simplicity is one of those main benefits of cloud-based network management. The next tenant here is related to speed, and this relates to our continuous innovation goal, which means that we're constantly updating the platform with new features and functionalities that customers can take advantage of. In a traditional controller-based or on-premises model, you would see updates roughly every six months, adding new configuration capabilities or analytics or troubleshooting tools, and the customers would need to wait that period of time before they see a new feature released into their network management platform. With a cloud management platform, particularly fourth generation cloud, we're able to continuously update our cloud with new functionality, meaning we build towards a certain feature release. We achieve that in engineering, go through QA. We can seamlessly integrate that into the cloud platform with no disruption of our end customers' networks. This also applies to bug fixes. Of course, we don't ever want to admit that we might have a bug, but if we do, we can get that updated quite rapidly. You don't need to wait months at a time in order to get your network back on track. The next benefit here is related to service. And this can have a couple different meanings. It can go back to the fact that we can deploy across multiple cloud systems and cloud vendors. So you can have a private cloud a public cloud or even on-premises, so the cloud acting on your own site. You can also deploy across multiple cloud vendors, meaning Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud, or even Microsoft Azure. So the service or the flexibility that you can offer through cloud is a lot more than a typical on-premises or controller-based deployment method where it's one size fits all. Service can also relate to the API accessible data. Most cloud management platforms are built on a fully RESTful API platform, meaning that all of the data that's running through your network on a daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly basis can be exported and imported into a third-party application. For example, you might have an organization that wants to utilize time and attendance data, maybe a school. They're able to export that data out of the cloud, port it into their custom application that they might use on site. So you're benefiting from the data that's moving through your network. It's not just performing a utility anymore. The next benefit here is scale. The the main infrastructure behind cloud is that you can start with one single device, scale up to literally millions of devices, and you're still able to manage all of those pieces from a single pane of glass. With our architecture, the mix of the global and regional data centers, if we hit a theoretical maximum with all of our customers worldwide, we can simply deploy another data center in a matter of minutes to make sure that we are able to support, fully support all of our customers and their needs. That's also beneficial if an organization's needs or goals change, we can scale up or down with them. And again, the cloud is something that allows us to do so. The next benefit here is security. 
With cloud, again, it was introduced 10 to 12 years ago. There were some security concerns related to where your data was going, if it was gonna be protected from uh, attacks or people trying to gain access to it, but we've gotten very sophisticated in terms of the level of security that we can deploy on the cloud. And this not only supports the cloud infrastructure providers, again, the Google, the AWS, or the Microsofts of the world, but also we as a vendor can put additional security safeguards in place. One example, Extreme is the only independent networking vendor to have achieved ISO 27001 certification in our cloud. And that's to show our dedication to our customers' privacy and also the data that's moving through the cloud at any given time. The last benefit of cloud-driven network management is savings. Again, moving some of your management functionality and your management plane up into the cloud is going to give you some uh, licensing and also reduced operational expenses, which makes distributed management less costly. And so this, these six main benefits that I've covered are why cloud management can drive effortless distributed networking.